everybody, I'm Tom Vassell. Welcome back to the Dice Tower as I continue to go through my favorite games from various publishers. Today, Space Cowboys, which I think we can all agree is a great name for a company. Space Cowboys has not made a particularly ton of games, but they have quite a name in the business because some of their games have sold really well. Um, and uh, they're distributed by Asmodee. I feel like they are more of a modern day kind of days of wonder. So here we go. These are my 10 favorite Space Cowboy games. Number 10, Hit Z Road. Sounds like a terrible title, but it's actually, Hit Z Road is an interesting game that's meant to look like a game. What I mean is, this is a, a, a teenager and his parents that they are running from zombies in a zombie torn apocalypse. And this teenager makes a board game out of bottle caps and things. And so the game is meant to look like that board game. I like that. A little bit of push your luck. It's one of my favorite zombie games, actually, because it's not just about zombies all the time. It's about fighting off zombies, running from zombies mostly, and taking a cross-country trip across America and seeing the sights, I suppose. Um, I, I find it interesting. Number nine is Via Nebula. Now, you may not have heard of this game, which is a little unfortunate. This is a game designed by Martin Wallace, and when you play it, you go, this is a train game. You're right, it is a train game. It doesn't have any trains in it. It's about moving on clouds and things like that. Really nice components, a really great production, but a simple pickup and delivery game that I think is worth checking out. Number eight, well, here I go, stepping on toes, is Jamaica. This is kind of the, one, the game that puts Space Cowboys on the map. Jamaica the Racing Pirate Game, and this is one that I like a lot, although it's only number eight on this list because I, I this one's faded for me a bit. It's very simple, though. You're going to roll two dice and then play cards to match those dice from your hand, and that's it. And you're collecting goods and, and gold and cannon powder and fighting each other and trying to be the first one to the end. Very lightweight, but I know a lot of people love this game. I find it to be enjoyable. Jamaica. Number seven. So five years ago, my number seven would have been my number one. It was my number one. But uh, the expansions have really soured me on the whole experience. I still think, though, that the original game was amazing, and that's Time Stories. Time Stories, Space Cowboys tried something very unique, and it is amazing, especially the base box of Time Stories that comes with the first mission is fantastic. And several of the different missions are also very good. And then the whole thing just at the end. But just playing a few of those, it's still a fantastic game. Um, it has elements of escape room games in it. It has elements of adventure. There's a lot of cool things to it. And you have to give them props for trying something unique and fun. Number six is Jaipur. Who's taking all the camels? This is a two-player trading game. There's not many of those out there. Um, a lot of people... When you're saying, what's a great two-player game? A lot of people point to Jaipur. There's uh, been a couple editions of this game, but a simple, fast, and fun, just a back-and-forth game about trading resources. Number five is Elysium. Elysium is a game that actually, most of Space Cowboy games are very colorful. The box of Elysium, pretty white, but the game itself is colorful as you are taking these different totems or different wooden pieces that allow you to attract these different people, but you do eventually want them to die to go to Elysium for points, but before you send them there, you get to use their special abilities. So it's a little bit of an engine building game, and it's one that did not do particularly well when it came out, but if you can find a copy of it, very much recommend it. Number four is one of my favorite pirate games, Black Fleet. So in Black Fleet, you control a pirate, you control a merchant ship, and you control the Royal Fleet. Your merchant ship picks up and delivers. Your pirate ship attacks merchant ships. Your, the Royal Fleet, you send them after other people's pirates. And a very simple movement system, fast, fun. It's you know a bit take that in a sense, but everyone's doing it to everybody the whole game. A lot of fun, Black Fleet. Number three is Kalis 1303. This is the redone, revised version of Kalis, originally from Starry Games. And I think it's better. <clears throat> It's not as deep, maybe, as the original game, but it has a very streamlined appeal to it. Kalis, which is probably the game that put worker placement on the map and added a bit of a dig nastiness to it uh, behind the scenes. 
It's still pretty fun. Yes, the uh, idea of helping a king build his castle is getting a little tired these days, but this is the OG, or this is at least a nice revamp of that, and I like it. Number two, probably the most popular game they've ever put out, and that is Splendor. Splendor, and of course they revamped it later on with Marvel Splendor, but they're essentially the same game, is very much a game that does not have a lot of theme. You are simply collecting amazing poker chips, spending those poker chips to get cards. Those cards give you abilities and things to buy more cards, and, and then eventually you get tiles. That sounds terribly boring when I say it like that, but the game itself is very fast and fun, was nominated for Spiel des Jahres. Everyone, I mean, for a while, this game dominated stores everywhere, and it's fast and fun. I really have a good time playing it. But what's my number one? Well, my number one is actually not a single game, but it's an entire series of games. And in fact, you might even argue and say they're not games. And that is the Unlock Adventures, of which I believe at the point of me recording this, there is nine for adults and one for kids. Now, the one for kids do not use an app, but the other ones, the nine for adults, which includes a Star Wars one, do include an app. And it's basically an escape room game. And each box has three adventures in it, so there's 27 different adventures you can play, and even the kids one also has three adventures in it, and you are just trying to solve a mystery, escape in an hour, and some of them are terrible, but some of them are also amazing. I've done a video where I've ranked them all, but overall, this is my favorite way to play an escape room style game. Their number system is a really clever way to go through a deck and find things. They use the app in different and unusual ways. The themes that they put in these are a lot of fun, and they're just good across the board. So much fun. This is my favorite thing that Space Cowboys has done. And the kids one, absolutely a masterpiece for young kids. An escape room, highly recommend it. So those are my top 10 games from Space Cowboys. What's your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been watching the best of Space Cowboys on the Dice Tower. Yeah.